yo what is good guys season 5 has just dropped and with it has come a huge shift in the meta now we are going to be talking about the new guns that have dropped the std and the new smg as well and some builds for that for you before we do that i just want to go through some other weapons that are definitely in the meta discussion due to some huge buffs that have gone on with them so we're going to look at that and then we're also going to be touching on some new attachments that you need to get because they change up every single class so i'm going to start basically with the new attachments so there's two new attachments that you need to be unlocking one of them is this quarter master suppressor you get this through doing eight daily challenges so what you need to do is when you come onto your suppressors just uh, move your barrels to the back click on it that will allow you to add it to your challenges to unlock uh, once you've done that you want to then come over to the under barrels and do the exact same for the power cord grip go into the very back it's going to be the very back click on it to unlock it and then once you've done that do eight challenges for that as well the reason why these two are so good is if you look here look at that there's 15 percent for your horizontal with absolutely no penalties as well as your aim and idle stability and then the quartermaster does 23 percent of that horizontal sensitivity as well so this takes guns that are quite shaky a lot of horizontal bounce a lot of visual recoil makes them a lot more vertical and a lot more beamy uh with that being said let's get into some of the decent guns that are going to be in the meta contention and then we're going to touch on the stg and the new submachine gun uh here's the mcw class with the quartermaster the cyclone barrel the new paracord grip as well 60 mag and then your sight of choice i'm going to just quickly show you in the game now what this gun looks like with these new attachments and as you can see there's literally no shake at all it is so beamy it's actually unreal that they've added these two attachments in at the same time we have uh, the superi for the close range meta hasn't changed at all we don't add the new attachments to this your superi class nothing's different on this at all it did receive a mobility nerf but it's still pretty fast that's the go-to on the superi or you could add the light barrel with the jack cutthroat stock if you wish to and this is the one for more of that straight speed okay next we've got the holger 26 nothing much has changed on this over then we're just again changing the quartermaster and we're adding the paracord grip in now as well we're the holger Va factory barrel the optic of choice so whatever site you prefer and then the ascent lord stock and this is very beamy as well this is what this looks like If you're not a fan of the Bull of Lost it's only 873. Get rid of the stock and you can go for high grain or high velocity, whichever's your preference on that. Next is the SVA. Probably the best contender for the meta at the moment now with the Holger 26 nerf. Simple class, sight of choice, 60 mag, high velocity, precision, barrel, and then that quartermaster stock. Make sure you put this in the single fire mode, so it's the first fire. And as you can see here, there's no way you're gonna miss shots with that it's just silly really good now that we've got this new attachment combo as well i want to bring out some of the old guns that maybe have not been meta previously but feel very nice now so here we've got the bruin again sight of choice 60 mag xrk horizon barrel new grip paracord grip and then the quartermaster suppressor and this just feels so much more beamier than it used to and you're gonna hear that a lot in this video because that's pretty much what these two attachments do in combination is it takes guns that had a lot of shape and well just makes them a lot better and next we've got the attack eradicator which received a huge buff so nice and simple for this with high velocity to get a bad bull of velocity up paracord grip new core master suppressor the conquer 70 long barrel and then i go for the attack bit core stock as well just to help a bit more with that recoil this is what this looks like and then we'll show you one with an optic as well in case you don't like the iron sight as you can see here there's, there's just no shake there's just no shake uh let's add the glass list you could do the glasses you could do the 2.5 x really doesn't matter again pretty be me not a lot of shake i didn't get that last one but you get the point okay next up we're going to be talking about the mtz 556 again simple 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 your sight of choice the big mag uh for this is the mtz clinch pro barrel the new grip the new suppressor uh, this is probably one where you see the most change in with these attachment combinations if you look at this look how much this does not shake anymore compared to what it used to like that is just insane that is actually insane this is probably going to make the mtc so much more beamy now there's not really much i can say more than that okay and the final one before we touch into the stg and the new smg is the bal 27 so the bal got a buff in this update Here's your build for the bow. We go for the Ardent Attack Stock, 60 Mag, the Paracord Grip, Quartermaster Suppressor, and then the Crown H3 Barrel. 
because uh, we do need to push out that bullet velocity a little bit because the suppressor sadly does not give us any this is what this looks like keep in mind these plate these mannequins are all on three plates which the damage is bugged so it's not a true representation of the dtk and what you're seeing in front of you is actually slower than what it would be in game if you go two plates it's a bit more accurate and as you can see still extremely beamy if we look at the static hp the new smg here's your build for this but this is a good base build to use and then from the same with the sdg and then just adjust as you see fit we got the new core master suppressor the xrk hand stop to help with straight speed and movement speed we got the garrett long barrel to help with your bullet velocity and range you want to go for the light stock to help with your mobility overall and then you're kind of left with one less attachment so you can go for a laser sight if you want to there's not really any ammunition to add so you, you know you either go for four attachments go for a laser if you want to obviously enemies can see it or if you prefer and you don't like the iron sight you can put on like a red dot but the Titan sights are pretty nice. There's not a lot of recoil on it, as you can see. You can definitely do what needs to be done with it. Now, finally, is the big boy, the STG. This is the build I've found to be the best so far. So for this, you want to go for your sight of choice. you your 50 mag. Uh, I've gone for the Bruin Acrux Heavy. You can also go for this last one, the 792 barrel. I'm not going to say whatever you pronounce that. The last barrel gives you more velocity. The first barrel gives you more range. Whichever you find is a preference because in terms of the recoil control it's pretty identical just keep in mind the last barrel as well does hurt your mobility so you're a little bit slower with it but pick out of those two and then you've got the quarter master suppressor and then you want to go for the combo stock on this one which is a bit different than what i was just saying with the rest of the video but yeah you want to go for the combo stock it does a lot more for your recoil control i will show you with the other attachments in a second but this stock is just very very good so if you just look at the shake on this i'll let it run And you're not going to see a huge difference when i put the paracord grip on it's not going to be a major difference but it's just nicer with the stock it just doesn't shake as much visibly you'll see this here now and i think it's pretty apparent just from looking at them there why the stock feels nicer just look at these up here <laughs> how much closer to give it the first shot to compared to this and of course the vertical magnitude as well is a lot less but i'll just show you this with the back grip as well so try try both out see which one works for you you can also use if you want to this uh igneous l5 stock it's very these are very minute changes look if i shoot it with this one now again it's very very minute for differences You know, it's not a whole lot different. So again, just try those three. See which one of them works best for you. Out of those, out of the two stocks and the grip. Me personally, I prefer the first one we've done. But as you can see here as well, this stock is pretty beamy as well. It's just preference. Try them both out. I will just see which one works best for you. That's going to be it for the video. If you enjoy the build, leave a like, leave a comment what your favourite build is. Let me know what you think about the update. If you think I've missed something that is a meta contender, let me know as well and we'll do a future video on that. And with that, peace out, have a good day, tell someone you love them, bye.